Hey there, and welcome to part two of the Media Composer Fast Start series. Now that we've set up a project, ingested some footage, and previewed it, we're ready to build a rough cut of our story. Now, just a reminder, if you want to see where we're headed with the Scramble King project I'm building throughout this series, you can watch the video of the final edit we included in the practice materials. On that note, we can head back to Media Composer and we'll start the cutting process by creating a sequence for our shots. So we can open our sequences bin, right click inside it, and choose New Sequence, Default Template, and then name it. Notice the timeline now has a video track and two audio tracks. These are mono tracks. We're going to edit with stereo tracks. So we can deselect V1, press delete or backspace on the keyboard and click OK to this message. And then right click in the timeline and choose new, audio track, stereo. And let's repeat to add another one for our music. To get ready for our first edit, let's reactivate V1. We're ready to start building our sequence. Now, technically, we can start with any video or audio clip, but since the interview with Emilio drives the story we're building for this fast start, let's start with that. So we can open the interview bin and load our first clip into the source monitor. Notice these markers. I added these after our first session to flag the snippets we'll use. To mark the first one, we can move the position indicator to the beginning of our first snippet and click the mark in button and play the clip. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. I've been training under him for about eight years now. Um, I started when I was 14. And then click the mark out button. We don't need to worry about being too precise. Next, we can either click the splice in or overwrite button to cut this into our sequence. Let's do another one. So we'll locate the beginning of the next snippet we want to use and mark in and then play. When I first came into the store, everybody treated me like they knew me for multiple years. They all, you know, welcomed me with open arms and. And mark out. Notice the timeline's position indicator is at the end of our sequence. So when we click either splice in or overwrite, the new shot gets added after the first one. We have several more snippets to add to our sequence, but since the steps for adding them are the same, I'm going to pause the recording and finish adding them. So I finished adding the interview snippets and added Emilio's introduction. So let's play some of our sequence. So we'll click the play button in the record monitor. My name is Emilio Hernandez. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. I've been training under him for about eight years now. Um, I started when I was 14. When I first came into the store, everybody treated me like they knew me for multiple years. They all, you know, welcomed me with open arms and, you know, I. I try to follow in his and Ray's footsteps of this is a family atmosphere. We need to treat everybody like, you know, they're a part of the family, make them feel comfortable, make them feel welcome. It's rough, and that's a lot of Emilio talking with no breaks, but thankfully we're building a rough cut. So let's add some breaks. We can use Spring Hill and gym footage for this. Since Emilio's instructor has had a major impact on his journey, Let's add a shot of Ray Casillas teaching so we can head to the gym shot spin. By the way, if you're a visual person, you can click this frame view button to use thumbnails known as representative frames and media composer as a guide for finding shots. And then go to this spin's fast menu, align and fill, 
fill window so the clips fill in the empty bin space. Now let's find the teaching clip R0314 and double click here to load it into the source monitor. Again, I already previewed this and added a marker. So we can head there and mark in, play it. You need to make this decision here, right? One is I don't want him to go back flat. You think uh, back flat, he wins. And mark it out. Now let's add this clip between these two clips in the timeline. So we'll hold the control key on Windows or command key on the Mac and click here in the time code ruler. This snaps the position indicator to the precise spot we need for our insert. Now to insert our shot, we need to use splice in, which inserts the clip here and moves these segments to the right forward in the timeline. Now let's add some shots of Spring Hill, Tennessee between Emilio's intro segment and first interview snippet. Let's activate frame view, load a clip into the source monitor, then head to the marker and mark it in, play, and then mark it out. Then we'll snap the timeline's position indicator between these first two segments. Now, overall for this particular documentary, we're not gonna use the camera's audio. So we need to tell Media Composer that. To do that, we'll turn off the track selector for the source side. And then we can click splice in, which inserts the clip at the position indicator's location. Let's insert another shot here. And let's use keyboard shortcuts this time. I to mark in, spacebar to play, and stop, and O to mark out. Then we can press the nine key on the main keyboard to turn off source side A1, and then click splice in, or press the V key to insert this shot here. Notice using the keyboard is quicker. It really speeds up the editing process. Now, as you get more and more comfortable with Media Composer, I encourage you to add keyboard shortcuts to your workflow. Let's insert one more shot. Let's add this shot of Emilio teaching, including his audio. We need to set an in and out mark on the source clip. All right, so I'm gonna get here, I step out reach and at the same time i don't want to keep my leg trapped here i'm gonna kick it over all right controller command click to snap the timeline's position indicator between these two segments and we need to check track selectors since we'll use the clip's audio we'll keep source side a1 selected now we can click splice in or press the v key so we could keep inserting shots between the interview segments to add breaks, but we have music we could start cutting to. So let's head to the music bin. By the way, I'd like to thank TJ from our team here at Avid for composing the track we're using in Scramble King. So we can double click the cruise audio clip. Notice this has two audio tracks. That's because the media was configured with two mono channels which Media Composer interpreted during import. The rest of the media for this project was set up as stereo, so Media Composer input each with a stereo track configuration. Let's change the cruise clip. To do this, we can right-click the clip in the bin, choose Modify, and Modify Clip. In the Modify dialog, we'll go to this menu and choose Set multi channel audio, then click the stereo icon and click OK. For this example, let's use drag and drop editing. Now we're going to use the entire music, so we can actually drag and drop this from the bin to A2 on our sequence. Let's play some of this. Mm -hmm. 
is Emilio Hernandez. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Cass Now, like most music, this is fairly loud at times. So to make sure we can hear our interview segments, let's lower the music levels. We'll click this button at the top of the timeline. This reveals the track control panel. Then we can turn on the waveforms for both audio tracks. Then click the menu icon and choose clip gain. Then click the mini fader icon and drag this fader down. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. I Let's not worry about the audio now. We'll address that in a later video. So let's use the music as a guide to finish building our rough cut. Let's spread out our interview and teaching segments a bit. But first, let's enlarge A2 to make this music's waveform easier to see. We can hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and drag this bottom edge. Now that's easier to see. To move our segments, we'll use the Segment tool. Let's hold down Alt or Option again and click this until it turns red. This is a lift overwrite tool, which works great when you want to move segments and create space. Then we'll make sure this link selection toggle button is selected. So when we click a segment, both audio and its video are selected. Then we can drag this segment to its new location using the music's waveform as a guide. Then we'll click and drag the next one to its location. I'm gonna pause the recording to listen to the music and move the remaining segments. Again, this is a rough cut, so it doesn't need to be perfect. My name is Emilio Hernandez. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. Now we're ready to fill in these gaps in the timeline. For the rest of our edits, we're going to add video only. So we want to make sure we don't affect the interview audio or music. So we'll turn off the record side's audio track selectors. And we'll use the music and Emilio's interviews as a guide for our edits, which means we'll mark regions in the timeline. To do this, we'll move the timeline's position indicator to a spot where we want to add our next clip. And click the Mark In button in the Record Monitor, or press the I key. Now let's zoom in a bit by pressing Control or Command right bracket. Then click the Play button or Spacebar to play. And click Mark Out or press O. Then we can load our next clip into the source monitor and move the position indicator to the section we want to use. The position indicator will serve as an in mark. To keep our current timeline segments in place, we'll click Overwrite or press the B key. Media Composer overwrites the marked filler gap in the sequence with our new clip. Then we can repeat these steps to fill in the remaining gaps. But we also want to show more jujitsu action and less of Emilio talking on camera. So let's look at doing that edit. So we'll control or command click the time code ruler here to snap to the start of this interview. Then mark it in. Play. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. And mark it out. So let's grab a shot of Emilio's instructor. Again, we'll use the position indicator as an in mark. And notice the A1 and A2 record tracks are still deselected. So we can click Overwrite or the B key. Media Composer overwrites the beginning of Amelia's interview segment with Ray Casillas teaching. So my head instructor is uh, Ray Casillas. 
I've been training under him. So to finish the sequence, we'll repeat those steps. Wow, we've covered a lot of editing mechanics and examples. So I encourage you to rewatch this video to catch any details or steps you may have missed. Now, I'm gonna pause the recording to finish overwriting the rest of the clips to our sequence. Okay, so the rough cut of our story is coming along. Let's watch part of it. It comes down to teaching. You have to be very precise with the movements. You have to be very on point with the positioning. Um, but honestly, it helped me really with my jujitsu because it sharpened up my techniques. Nickname is Scramble King. Um, I got that from my, the way I compete. I'm very big about scrambling out of positions and being very mobile when I'm rolling. Uh, the story's there, but it definitely needs some refinement. We'll do that in the next video. By the way, if you want to quit or exit Media Composer at the end of your session, you can click the X at the top corner of your software, then click Leave. Media Composer automatically saves your project, including your sequence with all your edits. That means we've reached the end of part two, and the next video will refine our sequences by shortening and lengthening some shots and replacing or removing others. With that, thanks again for joining this series and I'll see you in part three.